another video. Okay, today we're gonna do something different than usual. We're gonna review some of the dreads, some of the NBA dreads. I'm not gonna do all the people, but if you guys enjoying this video, I'll do a part two of it. Um, so yeah, give it a like, put people down, like reviews and everything you guys want me to do. And I'm gonna be rating it too as I go through these hairstyles, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all which uh, the wackest ones. Uh, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell y'all straight up. If it's whack, it's whack. You know, it ain't. I ain't gonna be bluffing. All right. First thing first, we got D Load, uh, D'Angelo Russell, who he just signed with uh, the Golden State Warriors just recently. As you guys see, he posted up with uh, Stephen Curry. But yeah, let's let's get through his. Let's look at his dreads. I, I like this guy's dreads, man. He always keep it neat. He always keep it nice. Uh, one of my favorite thing about him is that he uh, he always styles it. Like right here, you can see. I mean, he needs to retwist his dreads just like me. As you guys been getting on my head about it, but I'm just doing some. Some, something something for the content man D'Angelo Russell I've seen him since the start of his NBA career with a, with a with a startup dreads I believe that he had a startup dreads he didn't had uh he didn't had a whole long dreads but he kept on with the with he kept on going with his patient being there you know what I'm saying because dreads you have to be patient for it to grow to where you actually like it for me my transition is different uh check out the video that I did from two years maybe three years uh dread transformation not dread but hair hair transformation and I grew it out and then I went to a lock but let's go back to whenever he started off with his dress if he has some picture right here is just like he's still on his journey he's not too long you know he ties some of the back and the uh some of his dreads in the back i don't know if you guys see him play too but he actually plays with that style right there uh as i scroll down see whenever he started lakers he didn't he started whenever he started with lakers he didn't have dreads but in nba seasons he started growing his dreads so i think if you're a basketball fan, you've seen him grow his dreads out to, to where is that today. It's not actually, uh, his front didn't get to the back. It's actually just, he braided it just like how uh, XXX Tentacion used to have it, uh, right, P. Um, right here is when he joined Nets, I believe. And yeah, he started his dreads in NBA season and he got it to where it's looking fresh. I was look that looks nice too. Whenever you get a fade in any cut almost, it looks good, even if it's like terrible by itself. But that, that didn't look too bad. This is the start of his dreads. He always kept his fade, you know what I'm saying, going on, so his hair didn't look bad, you know. Half of the time it's not that the dread looks ugly, it's just y'all haircut is terrible. That's why it's hard for some of some of y'all to get a to get along with it and like y'all give up at early stage. But if you kept on going with it, you would get to it for sure. Okay, guys, next we got Colony. I think that's how you say his name. But uh, Conley, yeah, Conley, Mike. So Mike been growing out his hair. Actually, there's a video he did on how he started it. He saw his little brother did it before, and he asked him what he like, how he had his free form, because he used to have a free form, I, I believe, before. Let's go back to yeah the beginning of his stage. And you guys still see that he had a free form, but and then he asked him how he did it, and basically he did the same thing his brother was doing, his little brother actually, and he started liking, he started digging it, and he went on to have a really nice dreads. And right here is I believe when it started actually forming to small pieces, because I think he started probably touching it right here. Before that, it's just an afro growing up, and with free form, it's just like you cannot decide where it goes, what because it's just free form. And you guys just see, like, this dude look rough, you know what I'm saying? As a start, and he don't line up himself, or he don't give himself a taper, he don't get a cut at all, so it looks rough. But I mean, sometimes this this looks this is a look for somebody, you know what I'm saying? It don't always gotta be with a fade or with a taper. It don't really gotta be like that. It could be natural freeform, which I actually admire because for me, 
uh, I don't know if I will upload a video before this or after this, but I will show you guys why I want to cut my dreads. And if not, I will do a journey to improve my dreads to where I want it to be. And I will then keep it. But yeah, my colony uh, got into some, some things, I think, right here. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too sure. I don't follow on a lot of people, but I'm, I'm glad he's well. Um, oh, yeah, the dreads start forming around here. The free form starts changing to uh, look like he might have started touching it up a little bit. See that? There's a big difference between those two pictures. The free form actually looks really, really nice. I ain't gonna lie. It's something that I would, I would try once in my lifetime, maybe. Before I start rocking, I don't even know what I want to get when I get a little bit older, 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 older. This you can tell he touched it up. He had the roots done. It's I don't know how people do it whenever they go from free form to having it done by a professional. I don't know how they section it out. Like, how do you even, where do you start? So you know you have to pay good money <laughs> to get that done. As you guys can see, my, my colony started start doing a bunch of different hairstyles with it because now it has a length to do so. Back then, it was, it was tough to, whenever he started off, but now he has a length to do a lot of stuff. As you guys can see, he started taking care of it pretty neat. His kid got some dope hair too. Look like he dyed his hair, but it actually not dyed. Oh shoot, this is nice. The perks of having a whole a whole head of dreads is whenever you do styles like this. Look at that. That is just fly. That is, that is super nice. I like that. It's like uh Quavo and all the rappers be having that type of hairstyle. And right here is getting really really long like it's actually just like what Th that transition is crazy from just a few months ago to here i don't know i didn't check the date of that original one or where we started at but that is just crazy i think a, a few years probably at least two but yeah that's his hair that's his hair now it's really looking nice man probably it's gonna be an icon in nba his dreads just from free form to having a dope hairstyle, man. Fam, where's your beard? By the way, follow me if you haven't. Activerse, look me up. <laughs> okay. Next one is. See, I knew I had him on the list. Is D Rose? D Rose is one of those players that fell off and came back just because of his injury. His injury was pretty terrible and. He was able to recover, but as you guys see, he's been growing up for at least three years or two years. But he has a pretty dope dreads. I wish I had more picture. Maybe I might be able to look up some pictures and see if I can put it, show you to you guys from a regular standpoint. But he has some pretty cool dreads also. Okay, on to the next is Jeremy Lin. I'm gonna do five today. Okay, and then next time I'm gonna do five. Jeremy Lin has been known something sanity, Lin sanity or something like that. Back when he was killing it, right now he plays for Raptors, I think. If not, he got traded to somewhere else. But yeah, I think he's still in Raptors, yeah. And he won a championship, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, he keeps, he keeps on coming back. Like, I really admire this dude right here. He never gives up on his dream. This is what he meant to do, so he keeps pursuing it. But he had his dreads, uh, and I think it's an uh, extension, maybe. Remember when he got his dreads, he had a lot of hate, but he had one of the crispiest Asian dreads, man. Like, if you don't think you can do it with your hair, man, look at Jeremy Lin. Like, it might not be the most perfect and most neat thing, but it looks actually good. Uh, that's what it looks like from the front. This is when he had his uh, the cool design on his head. But look at that. That is very, that looks very neat, man. I, 
not neat, but like clean. Like it actually looked good. And I like the dark hair color of it. So he did had a long hair and then he just, uh, he just changed it to uh, dreads. Yeah, see that? It's like anybody can do dreads, man. And it's really cool. Like it's not even his culture or anything, but he still aspired to have a dread and uh, to kind of like, it's like, I don't hate on people that is not an, an ethnic, an ethnicity of black or African or any black race and still do dreads, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they want to do it. And I don't know if he does it for fashion statement or if he does it for any other reason, but I know his heart is humble. I know this guy right here, I, I, I follow him, he's very humble. Yeah, he, he did have one of the cool uh, dreads in the NBA, and everybody was hating on him. Everybody. But yeah, that's Jeremy Lin. And I, my, yeah, this guy right here just started with that Blazers, I think, recently. And uh, I don't know him too well. I'm a Blazers fan. But it looks like he just turned his hair to dreads. So as you guys can see right here, this is April 16th, and then... May 4th, no, he has dreads. So he just recently turned his hair to dreads. Looks already pretty dope. Uh, whenever you start your dread journey, uh, having a clean fade on the side and everything is, is cool. He was rocking the headband. And I remember whenever I started my, my hair and I had a, a two strand twist and it looked just like that. I had a headband on, a red one. If you guys been following Gunther the Great, you probably see me on his videos a few times, uh, featuring on his channel. Uh, great locks, I believe. Now it's called. It used to be Gun Locked. Um, guns Locked. I think that's what it was called. But yeah, man, this guy had a cool dreads, or has a cool dreads. Uh, we will see where this dreads get to in a few years to see if he don't get tired of it or anything. But from here, it looks amazing. And this is it for the video today, guys. Uh, thank you guys for enjoying this video. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the love, the likes that I already know I'm about to get uh, because you guys are awesome. And if you guys want any other videos that you guys want me to do, um, please, please leave it in the comments because I like making videos, man. I like making new contents, contents that nobody ever done before. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a dread update on my hair soon. I know this video seems long. Next time I'm gonna try to shorten it as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, follow me on my Instagram. You know what I'm saying? If you guys wanna see all the hair, cool hairstyles that I used to have, you can just click on this and it'll pop up from the beginning how I started my dreads. Not just cool hairstyles, but I think this is my dread journey right here. I look like right there, Jeremy Lin's hair because I just had to dread it and I didn't dye it yet. And I dyed it that same day too. I should have probably rocked it the same color for a little while, which I miss right now. But right there when I had a braided kind of, uh, the great braid of my hair, it looked pretty fire. Um, yeah. And this videos are all on getting through the great, like how I started my journey. If you can look up my name, or it should pop up. Just put Activerse on YouTube. It should pop up on how I started my journey on the Gunther the Great channel. Like this is before, like right before I had, right, right after I had my dreads. So right now I have a lot of new growth. I will show you guys on the next video probably with my new growth uh, in six months, seven months. I started this January, so. Yeah, seven month new growth. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy, man. But yeah, this is my videos. Yeah, you guys can see them all whenever you click on my video or whenever you click on my Instagram. I used to have a thing that has all my hairstyles that I used to have before I had dreads. I might create a new uh, little icon right there and upload all those in there. But hey, man, appreciate you guys for everything. Have a blessed one.